Hey everybody, Mike Linville here from Black Dog Education with this week's installment of Office Hours, where we answer your questions about web design, web development, and online marketing. Now this week, AJ writes, Mike, I just fired my marketing company, and now I'm worried that they might do something sketchy to my site. They were blogging for me and have administrative access to my site. How can I keep my site safe without having to create new users or profiles for my posts, etc.? AJ, that's actually a really good question because like it or not, people are gonna ultimately leave or step away from your company, right? Whether it's an employee or a contractor, whether it's on good terms or on bad terms, okay? But the one thing in the 14 plus years that we've been doing this, the one thing that I've learned is that under duress, people can sometimes do some weird things, right? Um, we don't know what kind of stresses are going on in their, in their lives. So what I've done is I've come up with a four step method or a process that I use anytime somebody leaves, whether it's good or bad, whatever the case is, just to make sure that I have that peace of mind and I don't have to worry about it, okay? So go ahead and grab a pen and paper and jot these four things down. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna do is if they've had an email account set up for them, I'm gonna go ahead and change the password on that email account and then redirect that email to another person in my company to go ahead and take care of that. That way, from the end user's perspective, it's gonna be a seamless transition from one customer service rep to another customer service rep, right? Their problems are gonna be taken care of and that's all we're really concerned about. The second thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and, like I say, you are on WordPress. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete that user account and then I'm gonna reassociate or reassign those previous posts to another user. So again, in WordPress, when you delete a user, it's gonna optionally give you the, you get the option to reassociate the posts in the links, I believe it is, to another user that's already registered on your site. So go ahead and take care of that, right? You don't need that person's name floating around anymore. The third thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and change my administrative usernames and passwords. So hopefully you don't, not still using like the admin user in WordPress. Um, whoever it is that has administrative privileges, make sure that you change those passwords. Even if that person didn't necessarily have admin access or you don't remember giving them admin, you know, it could have been that you had them do a plugin for you at some point in time or, you know, make some modifications or something. It's better to be safe. Just go ahead and change that password, okay? And then the fourth thing that I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and change what are called the authentication keys and salts. Now you're gonna find those in your WP config file. And, and basically what it is, it's, it's some encrypted information that helps strengthen the cookies that are on your user's machines. So by changing those, what that does is that requires everybody to log in the next time they visit your site, okay? So there's four steps for you, AJ. I hope that this video has served you and given you some ideas in terms of how you can deal with this and make sure that you keep your site safe, okay? So now I wanna hear from everybody else. When somebody leaves your company, again, whether it's a contractor, whether it's an employee, whatever the case may be, what do you do? What kind of security processes do you have to make sure everything stays safe and business is done as usual? So use the comments field below, let us know. Again, this is Mike Linville from Black Dog Education. I wanna say thank you for stopping by and we'll see you next time.